Hello, I'm Assistant Fire Marshal Gary Wilkes of the Newport News Fire Department. And I'm Fire Inspector Cornelius Wartlow of the Newport News Fire Department's Community Risk Reduction Division. One of our responsibilities is to ensure that our businesses are inspected regularly to confirm that they follow state and local codes and provide education and safety information. A common issue that we often find during a routine inspection is emergency exit lights that are not lit properly. The sign could be dark or dimmed. Usually, this is a simple fix for business owners and they only have to change the batteries in the emergency exit light. We will show you what to do so that emergency exit lighting works and you can pass this requirement on your inspections. Check the manufacturer's instructions for your exit sign and shut off the power at the breaker before opening the unit. The first thing to do is to locate all your exit signs. Check for the indicator light. Some units will have a green light to indicate the exit sign is working correctly. The indicator light is also where you test the unit. If the light is not lit or the indicator light is not working, it may need a new battery. Again, check with the manufacturer's instructions and ensure you have shut off the power before opening the unit. With this particular model, you open the cover and press the pins. Some models pop open and others need to be unscrewed. Change the battery and pop the lid back on. Make sure you note the type of battery to save you some trouble the next time you need to change it. You want your exit sign light to show brightly. Some emergency lights may need a bulb replacement too. Include this task in your maintenance plan and with the personnel responsible for this duty. That way, your lights will be compliant when it is time for your fire inspection. Part of the inspection will include testing whether the battery backup works. You can test the battery backup by pressing the test button. The exit sign should stay illuminated under battery power. We will also check to make sure your areas of egress are illuminated when the building or structure is occupied. In addition, we will check to make sure all exit doors are easily recognizable, unobstructed, and maintained. The exit doors should be unlocked and operable from the inside without using a key, special knowledge, or effort so that individuals can easily exit all areas of egress in an emergency such as a fire. We hope that the information provided here today will help our business owners address a common issue that we find during our business inspections. Please know that we take inspections seriously to ensure the safety of you, your employees, and your customers. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the Community Risk Reduction Division Inspections Office at 757-975-5400. We hope you have a safe day.